Hey YouTube, welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. After the recent change to remove the 762x51M80 round from level 2 Peacekeeper, it's left a lot of budget RFB and Vepa Hunter users without the ability to consistently two-shot through level 4 armor. As a big fan of the RFB myself, I was assuming that the two rounds we have to choose from now would be a three-shot kill instead. With very similar stats, I just assumed the BCP FMJ and the TTWSP would perform pretty much the same, but I was very wrong. On the face of it, if we take a look at the two rounds, we have the BCP FMJ with 31 pen and 88 damage, and the TCW SP with 34 pen and only 67 damage. So the question I had was would the 3 extra pen of the SP or the 21 extra damage of the FMJ really make any difference? So I grabbed a member of the Discord to give it a quick test. I was honestly expecting to just confirm that both were consistent 3 shot kills to level 4 armour and then move on. I was actually kind of shocked by the results. For consistency, I used the 6B3TM level 4 armor for the tests, as this is the first and most affordable level 4 armor available at Ragman level 2. All shots were at close range to the mid thorax, and the results will show you the damage and armor damage of each shot. The numbers in brackets show the health and durability that's remaining. The first shot did 24 thorax damage, with 4.5 points of damage to the armor leaving us with 61 thorax health and 35.5 armor durability. Shot 2 was 23 thorax damage and 4.5 armor damage. So we're now at 38 thorax health and 31 armor durability. Shot 3 did not kill us, instead it was 25 thorax damage and 4.4 armor damage. This still left us 13 health and 26.6 armor durability. Shot 4 was a kill shot. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to take 4 shots. With the consistent low flesh damage numbers, clearly the bullets did not penetrate the armour even when it was down to near 75% durability, which of course explains the poor performance. We then ran it through three more times with near identical results. The only exception was the first bullet of the third test which hit for 52 thorax damage, so it must have penetrated the armour to some degree. This led to a three shot kill in the third test and shows that potentially anyway, a two shot kill is actually possible. However, based on the percentages, it looks like even a 3 shot kill would require quite a bit of luck for this round. After feeling thoroughly disgusted by those results, we moved on to the TCWSP. Shot 1 hit for 44 thorax damage and 6.5 armor damage, leaving us 41 thorax health and 33.5 armor durability. Shot 2 hit for 20 thorax damage and 6.3 armor damage, leaving us 21 thorax health and 27.2 armor durability. The third shot was a kill shot. This is much more like what I expected, so we run it three more times to check. These numbers are actually very interesting, as we saw much more consistent penetration of the armor. Not only did we three shot on three of the tests, we actually managed a two shot kill on the second test. If you're just here for the results, then it's clear to me that the TCWSP is the only round that I would use if I was running 7.62x51 before Peacekeeper level 3. That's assuming you don't want to pay 2000 around for the M80 on the flea market. However, this has actually made me think about why we got these results and how the consistent talk about penetration and health damage might well be leading to us using the wrong ammo in other calibers. If we take a look at the results, we see the FMJ was providing a little more damage whether the bullet penetrated or not, but a big decrease in the ability to penetrate and therefore hit its higher numbers. The SP round actually penetrated five times out of the 11 bullets fired but more interestingly is that test 3 and 4 both produced kill shots when the thorax was at 44 health. This is a good indication that the lower armor durability allowed a high increased chance of penetration. If we take a look at the durability numbers, we can see these are extremely consistent and because of the increased armor damage stat on the SP ammo, after 2 shots the durability is down to approximately 67% at approximately 27.1 out of 40. Comparing this to the FMJ which still had approximately 78% at 31.2 out of 40. I should note here that we got zero damage to other parts of the body from any fragmentation. This really does highlight to me that we need to factor in the armor damage stat more when evaluating the best rounds at different levels. With the right combination of armor damage and penetration, there can be a consistent time to kill difference to some very similar rounds. 545 by 39 AKs instantly spring to mind with rounds like the PP, BP and BT all being very similar stat wise. Maybe we should test those next. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments and if you'd like to see any more of these kinds of testing videos. 
Remember to like and subscribe and maybe come say hi over on Discord. We're on target to hit a thousand members by the end of July. So if you need any help or like helping others, then we'd love to see you there. I do also share for players that need help three times a week over on Twitch, so check the Discord for dates and times. Thanks for watching and take care.